Today we are going to be talking about the new technology in thermostats. The second generation next. We are going to be talking about why you should get a high advance thermostat and the benefits it has. So let's first take you to the thermostat. Next, second generation. You can see you can change the temperature as easily as lowering it right here and then increasing it by just turning this little panel here you notice that when you go down two degrees you get this green leaf that's the normal thing that's your it's their way of saying you're using less energy it's being green basically another cool feature that this next generation has is if I increase it to the current temperature that it will show it will get there in 40 minutes course I don't want to turn it up because I don't want the heat to go on but that's just another good feature that this nest has and then it says heat set to 68 till 515 so that's basically the scheduled program that it set up on its own okay so as soon as you want to click the menu you just click on the whole this whole screens like a little big button and then we'll look at some of the features if you, if you put your thing to the left, you'll see this orange looking thing in blue. Basically, that's just your setting on if you want the thermostat on heat, cool, or heat plus cool. A neat thing about this thing, unlike other thermostats, is you can set it on both. So if, a, if you live in an area where the temperature ranges a ton, and it could be like 80 degrees one day, but the next day it's only going to be 50 you can set it so it will do both the heat and air conditioning, which I think is pretty neat. Next, you have your schedule. This can be programmed online or it can be done on its own. Most of this was done on its own, and this is just from us, people in my house, increasing it and decreasing it, and it remembers what you, you do. Okay, so I'm going to go to done. The next thing is energy report now this energy report is what makes this device stands out from the others you can see it says Monday January 14th 6 and 3 fourths hours and then it says your adjustments caused energy usage above the weekly average Yesterday, it was the coldest it's been the whole winter, and we turned it up because it was getting really cold in the house. But if you do notice, like, if you go to the next day, 6 and 1 fourth, and then when it was really warm outside, it was only 1 and 3 fourths. And then it, it keeps track of how long the furnace is running. If you notice that day, we, we lowered the temperature, so we actually got a green thing, the green leaf. And then it shows you your usage for one week which is a good feature that will show you what you're using in your energy. Next thing is settings. You could change to make the fan automatic or manual. You can lock this device so other people can't change it. Away. This is another big feature that this thing features is an auto away feature where it senses ambient heat and if it senses that you're not around it will t go to the minimum or maximum whatever the thing is set on. If it's set on Heat, it will go to the minimum. If it's set on air conditioning, it will go to the max. So let's go back to my settings. And let's go back to the minimum and max. Like we have our minimum set at 50 degrees and we have our max set at 81 degrees, which is basically uh, both good temperatures 81 degrees in the summer and 50 degrees in the winter. Basically, if we're away, it, the house will go down to 50 degrees. And then if, we're, and if we come home, it will go back up. Nest Sense is basically auto away. It senses, as it says, yes, we want it to auto away is ready. Nest will do that. Auto scheduling, it's kind of like if you increase it or decrease it, it will remember what you're doing. Time to temp is another cool feature that if you set a temperature you want the house at, it will turn on early to get to what you want early on the leaf is the leaves that make you uh then they say you're being green airwave is a feature that i think should be on all thermostats but it's only on this one it's a feature that if after your air conditioning your condenser turns off the fan still continues for five minutes in theory that you're you still have cold air or 
extensions are still cold, so you still have cold air coming out. And that is it for settings on the Nest. Now let's go back. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the iPad application, which is the same that's on the iPhone. And then the Mac App Store also has an app that is similar. And you could do basically the same things from your phone, iPad, or laptop, whatever is the best of your convenience. So let's take a look at the Nest application on the iPad. So let's take you to the iPad and let's take you to the Nest application. So in this application you see your house, which if it's red it means you're you're in the house because your auto wave feature is not activated. And then to your right it shows the temperature that your house is currently set at. Now let's click that. Temperature. And now that's going to bring up your what your house is set at and you could increase it by just easily as tapping it and decreasing this and this is the same application that you can access on your iPhone we're just accessing it on the iPad due to it being a bigger screen and it allows us to see more things now and also a big thing is how I was talking about the energy reports before so let's click energy reports so now now that we see our energy report we see the days and then we see how much it's ran and this is actually almost better than the what's on the thermostat because you could see a little graph of what your thermostat's been running. And this can really help you improve your energy. And then you have the same schedule as you do on thermostat. And then you have your settings. That is the iPad application. And again, the iPad application is called Nest. Let's finish up the review. Let's look at the major features again for this thermostat. The auto schedule, the auto away, it's got the air rave, it's got the nest leaf, it's got the system match, and then the energy history. This thermostat is by far one of the most advanced in the market, and I would recommend to anyone. For more reviews, click above, and press the like button on the bottom if you like this review. If you have any suggestions or any other items that you would like to re for me for me to review in the future, Leave a comment below. Thanks again.